Okay, I know we're supposed to be all stealthy with this uh, this uh, accolade session, but um, I'm for you know whatever. Um, I want to talk about my friend Roxanne uh, when she was my a student of my in my class. Uh, one of my favorite memories is uh, during the week four uh, women's session. We actually did it uh, using the sticking platform and uh, specifically so that all our students could be on camera at once. It was a small uh, group meeting, and uh, it's complicated enough that they actually I asked uh, students to do. Um, in week three, kind of a practice run through. So when uh, week four came around, um, I didn't know what happened, but uh, we were about to go online and I was told by Jesus, Roxanne's husband, that she would not be on camera because she'd already taken off her makeup for the day and she would not be gracing us with her image. So these are the kind of things that as a guy, you don't take into consideration when setting up a virtual meeting. But Roxanne was a kind of low uh, maintenance A student that I felt like I could just give her a book, a candle, stick her in a closet and she would still exceed all our expectations as far as what we were uh, wanting to accomplish. Uh, then later when she joined the EMBT uh, team, she showed the same energy and thoroughness and the same, and in the last couple of years as a capstone coordinator, she's been a tireless coach to those uh, fearful students intimidated by the project, but a strong voice to those foolishly thinking that they could get away with anything less than their best work. So now for me, as a month 11 uh, course director, I can't tell you how important it's been to have the ability to so easily coordinate with Roxanne to get students through the capstone process and into month 12. Her no-nonsense, no-drama, let's-celebrate-student achievement comes from years of working with a wide variety of students and her experiences coming through the program herself. I'm proud to call Roxanne a colleague and a friend.